Thank you very much uh, for watching this uh, video from the Disability Royal Commission. I hope that uh, you are all keeping safe and well during these very difficult times. I shall commence with an acknowledgement of country. I wish to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of the land upon which uh, I am making this presentation, and I pay my respects to their elders past, present and future. Um, my name is Ronald Sackle. I am the chair of the Royal Commission, which, as you probably know, has been operating since April 2019, about two and a half years ago. The Royal Commission has five additional commissioners. They include Andrea Mason, OAM, who will be very well known to many of you. Commissioner Mason has guided the Royal Commission in its investigation of what should be done to prevent violence against abuse, neglect and exploitation of First Nations people with disability. So far, the Royal Commission has held one public hearing, public hearing number eight, specifically addressing the specific of, uh, the experiences of First Nations people with disability and their families in their contact with child protection systems in Australia. We've had other public hearings that have examined issues of particular concern for First Nations people, and we've done that through the experiences of First Nations people with disability themselves, those with lived experience. For example, Public Hearing 11, which was held in Brisbane from the 16th to the 25th of February 2021, uh, examined the experiences of people with cognitive disability in the criminal justice system. That hearing concentrated on the terrible experiences of two First Nations people with disability, and we called Melanie and Wimati, not their real names, of course. Both have been held in custody for many years, and that happened after they had been found unfit to plead to criminal charges that had been brought against them. Both Melanie and Wimati had been kept in custody for many years longer than if they had actually been convicted of the charges that, that had been made against them. And they endured during this period of incarceration conditions that had been described as inhumane. The Royal Commission plans to hold further hearings on topics of importance to people, uh, First Nations people with disability. One of these hearings is scheduled to begin in Alice Springs on the 17th of September, about three weeks from now. And that's scheduled to continue for six hearing days. The hearing will consider violence and against and abuse, neglect and exploitation of First Nations children with disability in out-of-home care. And that is a very important topic. A great deal of work has been done, especially by the First Nations teams within the Royal Commission, to prepare for this hearing. The preparation has been designed to ensure that the First Nations witnesses, people with disability, can give their evidence in person in Alice Springs and do so in a culturally safe and trauma-informed environment. Commissioner Mason has planned events such as a smoking ceremony to take place in the context of the Alice Springs hearing. As we all know, we're living in very difficult times because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The restrictions on movement associated with the pandemic have forced this Royal Commission to alter our programs in very significant ways. Everybody in the Royal Commission, but particularly the First Nations teams, have been very keen for the hearing in Alice Springs to be held in person as we have planned. Unfortunately, the restrictions and the risks to public health have forced us to find another way of conducting this hearing. It is simply not possible for the hearing to be held with witnesses, lawyers and commissioners all gathered together in the one hearing room and indeed in the one city. For these reasons, we've reluctantly made the very hard decision to change the hearing from one that will be held in person in Alice Springs to what we describe as a virtual hearing. This means that the hearing will still take place, but most of the witnesses, the lawyers and the commissioners will participate from places 
away from Alice Springs, and this will happen through the wonders of modern technology. The Royal Commission has had plenty of experience with virtual hearings. All of our hearings since the start of the pandemic in February 2020, uh, with one or two exceptions, have been held remotely. So this will not be a new experience. The decision to move to a remote hearing was based on the best health advice that we could get and in compliance with the restrictions that unfortunately affect travel to Alice Springs by people outside the Northern Territory. Many witnesses, staff, lawyers and commissioners would have had to travel to Alice Springs for the hearing, but cannot do so now, at least not safely, under the present conditions. Our primary responsibility, of course, is to protect the health and safety of our staff, the witnesses of the hearing, people with disability themselves, and the more general Alice Springs community. All of us at the Royal Commission are extremely disappointed that the hearing cannot take place in person uh, within the Alice Springs community as we have planned, but the hearing still will take place and everybody who is interested will be able to follow it online. And this will allow the Royal Commission to continue its important work, enable First Nations people with disability to have their voices heard and bear testament to their unique experiences. We invite all Australians, but particularly First Nations people and First Nations people with disability and First Nations communities generally, to follow the experiences of First Nations children with disability in out-of-home care when the hearing begins on Friday, 17 September 2021. The hearing will be live streamed on the Royal Commission's website and that can be found at www .disability.royalcommission.gov.au You can also find a description of Public Hearing 16 on our website. Please take care everyone, keep safe and thank you very much for listening and watching.